Hey guys, it's Party PD. We are here for, I guess, more sessions of Undertale, because I didn't do what the thing said. So, This is strange. This is very, very strange. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Entry number 14. Everyone that has fallen down has woken up. They're all waking up and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of all of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to its garden, and I called all of the families and told them that everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. one of those lemonadas.
What am I supposed to do here? Holy hand grenades! What? Weird place am I in? That's not where I saved last. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that is not human or monster? Entry number ten. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It does not it doesn't seem to be any different from the, 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 the whatever they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you. They won't let go. Oh dear. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore, except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really, really sweaty.
Not fair! Fuck! Ah! Okay, good. Holy crap! Why did I do this? Why did it tell me to do this first? My gosh, why? Why is this actually like really difficult?
Fuck this. There's no way to go back either! Fight the fucking dog again. Oh, good, I don't. Ah! Now I need the key. No. I'm going to the other safe point. Okay, we'll try this again. 
It says that I'm supposed to freaking. How am I supposed to get out of this? Is there actually no way out? Is there genuinely no way out of this? I've done everything. It said I can end the fight quickly with flex, but I've done it like four times. Why?
No, I'm not even gonna read that. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. I see what I'm supposed to do, guys. So what's in the shaking fridge? Bullshit, it's not empty. I don't know what's going on anymore. put the yellow one. Where do I put the yellow one? It's in the frickin' recorder room. It's in the recorder room. What is with these, um... I've never... I've honestly never seen this place before in my life. And I had no clue of it, because... I watched one playthrough, and it was actually Markiplier's playthrough, and he didn't go through it all. So, obviously I didn't get everything. Yeah, there it is. Alright, we're all good then. So, I mean, I had no idea what to expect when I was getting this game, and, uh, damn, this, this is pretty, uh, crazy. I don't know why people told me to play this before finishing the game. I guess because I probably wouldn't have done it.
I used up a lot of my food. Don't know what to be expecting here. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Sure! Hey, stop! Got you guys some food, okay? You get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had. And anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came up here, and as I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because these guys are anything. I was worried. I would be too afraid to tell you the truth that I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, um, I isolated the power of determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physically what physicality they had. Pretty soon all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it, no matter how much everyone was asking. I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far has been a horrific failure. Now, I've changed my mind about all of this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself, but I'm sure there will be times where I will screw up. There sure will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. That's it? That's it. We're done. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of the garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower had from outside the world had appeared just before the queen left. I wonder what happens when something Entry number 18. The flower is gone. Flowey. It's a voice you have never heard before. But are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Far see you soon. What? What? I'm back at Asgore's place? What is this madness? Wait, I need to go back and get food.
Because I don't have any food. Do you even have any money to get food? Shit, son. Oh, wait. Okay, no, that's... Wait. How do I get back? That elevator was to go get food. Now I have to walk all the way back. Oh, no, wait, I have food. Oh, I want the weapon, though. Oh, no weapon. I gotta walk all the way back. Man, I don't know what the heck just happened there. Oh wait, I don't need to go there. Well, we're back at the front door. Well, that was weird. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching for that strange episode. It's a long one. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to start editing, and then we'll do the end when I get back from editing. So thank you all for watching. I hope to see you next time for some more Undertale. This is the purely pacifist playthrough. I hope to see you next time. Hey guys, you've, if you like the content that you saw today, there's plenty of other content that's out on our channel. And uh, if you want, you can just go and swing on by, drop us a subscribe, and you'll see our amazing content as more and more gets released. So hopefully you'll do that, and hopefully we will see you come next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.